Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are talking all things Easter. We will be doing some activities the week prior leading up to Easter Sunday and I'm gonna share those with you guys today. So hang out with me. All right, it's that time already. Easter is here. And you know, it reminds me that it has been roughly one year since the pandemic hit and shut everything down. And I remember that last year we did not get to celebrate Easter the way we normally would with going to church and having dinner with family, Easter egg hunts, all of those things. We didn't get to do them last year. And I don't know that we will this year, but I am definitely incorporating more Easter activities into our homeschool so we can try to get a feel of the normal. Always want to remind the girls of Jesus, his sacrifice, dying on the cross, and his ascension into heaven. So that's what we will be doing this week. Not this week, next week. <laughs> so I wanted to share with you guys what I have. I bought a couple of books because I realized that I did not have any books specifically touching on Easter outside of the main book, the most important book, which is our Bible. And so I wanted to grab some to kind of spark a little bit more interest for my girls. They know about the story with the exception of my baby girl. They know about the story of Jesus Christ and the Last Supper and all of those things. I just wanted to grab some books because we like books. Y'all know that. You've been around here. You know we like books. While I'm at it, thank you for joining me again. I'm glad that you're here. It pleases my heart to know that you are watching and hanging out. All of the comments and the emails and following us on Instagram, I greatly appreciate each and every one of you. So if you haven't subscribed already, go ahead and do so. Stick around, become a part of the Tillman family. We love each and every one of you and thank you so much for being here. Okay, this book is really popular. I didn't know that it was so popular but I've seen it on quite a few channels and I've had it for a couple of weeks now. And it is The Garden, The Curtain and The Cross. It goes through the story of Jesus from the Last Supper all the way until his, his life ended on the cross. And I'm just gonna read the back of the book for you. It says, a very long time ago, right here in this world, there was a garden. In the garden, everything was wonderful. The world was full of laughing and playing and smiling and fun. There was nothing bad ever. There was no one sad ever. But then one day, dot, dot, dot. We all know that story. It says, read the amazing story of the whole Bible, why Jesus died and rose again, and how we can be a part of that story. This book is so cute. <laughs> I've had to hide it from my girls. I have to do that often because I don't want them diving in and like spoiling the moment of surprise of the books. They've done that a couple of times that I was like, yes, I'm gonna read them this book. And they were like, yeah, we read it already. <laughs> so I've been hiding it from them on purpose. But I love the illustrations here. It's a very cute book. And we will just use this and read through it. And here is where it talks about the curtain. And it goes a little bit further into when the curtain tore and what all of that meant. And it puts this in a story for a child. So I just want my girls to know the story and really be able to recall more details of it. And they'll be able to do that with these books and another thing that I'm going to show you guys too. I have another book. It is God Gave Us Easter. We love this little series. We have one other book, which is God Gave Us Sleep. That is one of our bedtime reads. And I didn't know they have all of these other books, so we'll probably grab them. Some of them are God Gave Us You, God Gave Us Two, God Gave Us Christmas, Heaven, Love, The World, and so much. All of those different books. This book talks about a bear and his dad and talking about how we got the Easter egg and the bunny and what that means. And this book really takes that and points it back to the sacrifice that God made for his son, Jesus Christ, giving us, he made the sacrifice for us by giving his son, Jesus Christ. And it tells how the egg and the bunny are representation almost as like 
Santa Claus for Christmas. So I really like this book as well. I'm excited to read it. Another book, I did good. I only got three books. Only three, I did really well. Another book that I got is Love Gave, and I will link all of these down below in case you are interested in grabbing them. At first, I ordered this book, it came to me, and then I was kind of like, Ugh. it seemed a little dark. Not only the storyline in the beginning, but the pictures, and I'll show you too. It's really dark here, <laughs> and it talks about sin and how we are unclean because of sin and that we're born into sin we have sinful nature within us but it cleans it right up by saying that we are not buying our way into heaven or buying our way into a relationship with god we do that because we believe and so I like how it did that. And I'm going to read you the page where it talks about that. Um, so here it says, so how can we get God's greatest gift? How can we become Jesus's friend? On the next page, it says, by trying really, really hard to be perfect, by saving our pennies to pay for it, by learning a bunch of big words like communicable attributes. The answer is no, no, no. None of these things will do it. And then it goes on to explain that, do you see God is love? He is here for us. And the reason we are able to experience his greatest gift is because we believe. We just have to believe. And to me, that's very important for our girls to know that because in our flesh in the world would teach us that good deeds get us what we need but that's not the case with god that's not the case with jesus and so trying to paint a picture for them to see the difference between what the world may teach us and what god's word teaches us is really important so i love this book it took me after reading all the way through it to realize where it was going with what it was saying and it says god is love Love gave us Jesus. Jesus gave us the biggest gift of all. Can you guess what it is? And we all know it's eternal life, a friendship. All right, so that's my books. That's it. I didn't do any more books, you guys. I promise, I promise, I promise. And those are not expensive. I'll link them all down below. Of course, we have to add in crafts because that is what we do here at The Life of Tillman's. And we are really missing crafts we have not done any in a little while like two or three weeks which is a long stretch of time for us because we are crafting family around here so my girls found these a month and a half ago dollar tree y'all know i like to shop at the dollar tree but these little crosses so i will allow them to um paint these and i have three of them i'll help the top paint hers and then they will likely hang these up in their rooms they each have a little wall that has cork board on it and they can hang these up in their rooms and this will remind them of the sacrifice that God made by giving us Jesus and then I was lucky enough to be a part of the email group and snag this Easter activity packet and this is by Kirkwood Education Online I will link them down below. This was completely free, 55 pages activity packet. This is what we will go through from the entire week, Monday all the way up to Sunday. And it has reading and everything. Do y'all want me to do a flip through? I think I should do a flip through. I think I will. So you can see all of the greatness because I can't show you like this, but there's tons of activities in it. So I'm going to do a flip through and show you guys. Hold on. Okay guys, here is the activity packet. It is by Kirkwood Education Online. I'm sure if you signed up for their email list that you could get a copy of this as well. But it goes through the story of um, the Last Supper and it has the scripture reference down here and I like that because we can always go to that to get more information. But this is very in-depth. 
So I don't feel as though right now I need to do any more. It correlates with the scripture very well. This one is Luke chapter 22, verse 14 through 20. And this one is John 13, 27 through 21. And then chapter 30 also, or verse 30, excuse me. Um, here's Matthew. So it goes all the way through scripture reference at the bottom. So if you need additional information, you can definitely do that. I like that each page is really for coloring, which is nice. But I believe that while I am reading this and I'll do this over, you know, the week, the girls can be coloring some of the awesome coloring pages that are here. This is all the story. We will read this. And then there are comprehension questions. These will be perfect for my two big girls. Just 10 questions. We will go through and discuss those together. And then amazing coloring pages going through here. He has risen. Hello spring. I think I will take these flower ones out and I'm going to save them for something awesome. Easter celebrations and it asks, how does your church celebrate Easter? Then it goes into Easter celebrations around the world, which I love this because it gives us an opportunity to see how things are done in other places. Crossword puzzles, my girls really enjoy that. More flower pictures to color. When is Easter celebrated? It discusses that and gives some terms that we should know. Crossword puzzles, one of my daughters loves crossword puzzles. Of course, there's Easter eggs and bunnies, and this is where it goes in and it talks about the history of the egg and the bunny and what those mean and how they became a part of Easter. This is important for us to know. We have been diving into holidays and their true meaning and how we get all of these extra things about the holidays. So that'll be good for the girls to get a really good understanding. Another word search, more flower and coloring pages. And of course, we will not get to all of these coloring pages, but they will definitely come in handy later on. I did go ahead and download this and save it. This will be perfect for my talk, connecting her numbers. And then we have a word scramble as well. More coloring, complete the picture. I thought that was fun. Lots of art here, and there are several pages of this. So we have a duck here, a bunny, another duck. Copy the picture is what they're doing here. A flower. If I can get the pages turned here. And then it goes into crafts. This one is an Easter bunny banner. And here is the template for it. You will make several copies of this, cut it out and color it. You can print it on colored paper, however you want to do, it will work. Then we have swimming peeps, another little fun activity, Rice Krispie egg nest. We may make this vegan style, of course, for us, but that would be super cool. Cheese puff Easter treats. We do not eat cheese puffs, but this was cool to have in there. Happy Easter, God loves you, and more comprehension. Oh, that's the answers to the questions right here. This is all of the answers to the different crosswords and things like that. So that is it. That is the end of the packet, guys. All right, guys, that is our activity plans for the week leading up to Easter. We will start on Monday and we will finish up on Sunday. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm curious, how are you incorporating Easter back into your life now? Because last year it was like blown away for us. I don't know if it was the same for everyone else, but it was almost like it never even happened outside of us doing online church service. So drop it down in the comments. I wanna know what you're doing for Easter. Don't forget to share this video, like it. If it's something that you are interested in and want to see more of, I would be happy to show you more stuff <laughs> because we love it. So thanks again for joining me guys. Don't forget to click that bell, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you guys right back here for another video at the Life of Tillman's next time. Bye.